it gives me great, great pleasure to welcome and introduce Mr. Kabir Bedi. Mr. Kabir Bedi's career has spanned three continents, including India, the United States, and many European countries, in, and in three mediums, films, television, and theatre. He is best known in Europe for playing the pirate Sandokan. He is a highly popular TV miniseries and for his role as the villainous Gobinder in the 1983 James Bond film Octopus, being the only Indian in the state to have been associated with the James Bond movie as an actor. He began his career in Indian theatre and then moved on to the theatre. He remains one of the first international actors from India to have originated from Bollywood, worked in Hollywood, and then became a big star in Europe. He's acted in over 60 Indian and international films. In the historic epic Taj Mahal and Eternal Love Story, Mr. Mr. Bedi starred as the Emperor Shah Jahan. Other starring Bollywood roles include, include the Raj Mosras, Achei Raghi, Ramesh Roshan, Kun Parima, Barak Hans, and a motion picture, Arts and Sciences, the group that is responsible for presenting the Oscar Awards. He is also a voting member of the Screen Actors Day. By decree of the President of the Italian Republic, on 2nd June 2010, Mr. Bailey was knighted. He received the highest ranking civilian honor of the Italian Republic and was bestowed upon the title of Kamali, that means Knight of the Order of the Merit of the Italian Republic. Principal Talreja, uh, teachers and staff, and students of the Digital Academy. I'm very happy to be here. I began my career as a filmmaker. I came from Delhi and uh, I wanted to be a filmmaker and so to learn my craft, because there were no schools like the Digital Academy in those days, I joined advertising and for five years I was the film and radio chief of uh, Lintas first, and then a company called Ogilvy and Mather, Ogilvy and Mather, um, which today is one of the biggest agencies in town. So that was really my uh, beginning. And you're talking about the very late 60s, early 70s. It was a time when Sham Benegal was also film chief of an agency called Ulka, no, ASP. Uh, he had an office just one floor just beneath me in a building called Steel Creek House in uh, Churchgate. Um, Govind Nihalani was my cameraman on various ads that we shot. Jagjit Singh and I did jingles together. You know, it was a period when all of us were establishing our careers. And it was an exciting time. Now, acting had always been a hobby with me, right through my school days, all through my college days. Um, school days, I won the Kendall Cup for Best Actor. At St. Stephen's College in Delhi, I, I was Secretary of the Shakespeare Society and did productions there and outside college. So when I came to Bombay, it was natural that I continued my hobby. And I started working with Alec Padamsi in the Bombay Theatre Group. And Alec cast me in the lead of his play, Tughlaq, which was Girish Karnad's first play. And it was such a massive success, the biggest theatrical success Bombay had seen at the time, that a lot of producers came to me and said, will you act? Now, in the meantime, just because I was in advertising and happened to be a reasonably good looking guy at the time, a lot of people asked me to do ads. And I kept saying no because I wanted to be taken seriously as a filmmaker. I didn't want just to be a pretty face. But then they started offering me so much money that I thought I'm being stupid here. One year's salary to do a campaign, hello. So I did those campaigns. So I got known as a model. So between being known as a model and India's most prominent model at the time and my acting on stage, a lot of producers came to me and they said, will you, will you act? And I said, yeah, yeah, sure, I like. Because I thought to myself, okay, I want to be a filmmaker. And so for that, I have to move into the film industry. In advertising, I can either move up the ranks, in executive ranks, like my colleagues, you know, um, um, what's his name? Kapoor, Ranjan Kapoor did, uh, and became the head of the company. Or Suresh Malik was another, another contemporary of mine. 
or I could leave advertising and join the film industry. So I thought, get into the industry, then you make your contacts and you become a filmmaker. Well, as things turned out, I did get into the industry and one thing leading to another, I've remained an actor all my life. That doesn't mean to say that the choices you have made as filmmakers or want to be filmmakers is wrong in any way. Um, it's a wonderful aspiration and one that can lead, if not to fame and glory, certainly to great satisfaction in life if you enjoy what you do, if you love the craft, not just the fame and the glory, the craft. And if you do the craft, some will make it big, some will make it smaller, but the happiest will be he or she who is doing what they love to do. When they can't wake up in the morning and wait to get to work because they love what they do so much, despite all the hassles of every job. That's a, a very important yardstick for you to apply. You know, the period of the very late 60s, early 70s was a remarkable period in world history. Abroad, there was the whole hippie revolution, the flower power revolution. People were demonstrating for peace for the first time in history. Social standards and mores were being challenged. Um, and there was a feeling of the changing of an order. Because since the Second World War, right through the 50s and into about the mid-60s, there was still a very old-fashioned mindset, both abroad and in India. Uh, but not until the 60s came, where a whole young generation erupted and said, no, we want a different type of society, we want different types of values, we want different types of atmospheres. We don't want this, you know, macho, militaristic, uh, rara attitude of the male and the submissive attitude of the female. It was a time when the pill was invented. <clears throat> so the sexual revolution came about at the same time. So it was a time of immense turmoil around the world. There were barricades in France and, and students, um, you know, burning effigies, um, confronting authority and old authoritarian ways. 